Hey, it's Ryan from Rowan Table Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna do something. Um, I'm going to walk you through how we made our uh, proposal form. We build a lot of software for different companies. And I'm gonna show you how we use Airtable to manage the bids and to scope out the bids real quick. So let me, um, let me open up uh, my Airtable account. And I don't have one right here yet. So let me just uh, create a new base and we're gonna start from scratch and we'll call it proposals. And let me show you something neat. Um, if you, on a Mac, if you press Control, Alt, and Space, it'll open up a emoji thing. And you can actually have different images than the ones, the stock images that are, that are put in there. And so I am going to find some emoji, an emoji that I like here for proposals. Let's say this one. All right, and you'll see there, uh, the proposal now has a cool icon. So that's a cool quick tip there. So let me jump into proposals and it's completely blank. Of course, this is the normal thing. And the way that this is gonna work is we're gonna wanna have two different tables. The first table is going to be, um, we'll say uh, main functionality. Okay. And for the main functionality, we're going to have, uh, let's call this a feature as our name. And then we're, we're gonna want a notes field and we don't need an attachments field, okay? So uh, feature and notes. And the next thing that we want is we want uh, subtasks. So uh, let's just call this subtasks. And I'll show you another cool trick. If you click on this and you click on link to another record, um, we can actually create a new table. So we're gonna create a subtasks table like so. And uh, in the subtask, by the way, we wanna make sure that we're allowing the linking of multiple records. And you'll see it automatically creates another table, another blank table. And the only thing it has is, is a uh, name and um, the main functionality link there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here because uh, the function, the way it's going to work is we're going to have the feature and then in here we're going to break down that feature into subtasks that we would do to build that feature. And so what we're going to do is we're going to customize this and we'll call this one task. And uh, let's have a notes feature that we're going to call explanation and we'll move this, make this a long text. Um, and so we'll move this over here. And, and then we can add another field, okay? So we have our task, our explanation, um, the functionality that it's linked to. Um, really the main fu function of this is to develop the cost. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, dev hours. So this is the hours it's going to take a developer. And I want this to be a number field. So we're gonna choose number and we're going to choose integer. Okay, so we're gonna click save. And then let's also do design hours. And we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna do number and we're gonna make sure that it's an integer. So right now we have our task or explanation, the link to the functionality, dev hours and design hours. Well, that doesn't do very much as it is. We really, what we really wanna to get to is cost. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create Another one, we're gonna call this one dev costs. And we're gonna make this a formula. So I'm gonna jump down to formula. And the formula is going to be pretty simple. All we need to do is we need to multiply the dev hours times our hourly rate. So let's do this. Let's say uh, dev hours. And it will just start, as you type it, it will just start loading there. And then we're gonna do an asterisk for time. And, uh, and then we're just gonna put in an hourly rate. So let's say $60, okay? And we're gonna click on the formatting tab here because we want this to be formatted as currency because this is money. So let's do that. Dev cost. Let's do the same thing for design cost. And we're gonna go to formula. We're gonna say design hours times 60 and format that as currency. 
All right, one other thing we're gonna want is we're gonna want other costs for soft software and stuff like that. And so again, we're gonna make this a, let's say currency, just make it really easy and we'll click save. All right, so now let's let's walk back through this and let's let's make up a simple thing. So let's say somebody wants uh, somebody wants a website, right? Okay, so um, from scratch website. Well, what will be the subtask for that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this plus button and I'm going to just start building out this this thing. So what's the first thing? First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need a prototype. Okay. Uh, that might take my developer one hour because uh, he'll be involved, but mostly it's going to be the designer working on that. And so you'll see it, it adds up the cost. Are there other costs involved? Not at this stage. So we're going to click close. All right. What else do we need? Well, we need to actually take that prototype and turn it into a design. So we'll put design and, uh, you know, we can put an explanation there. I'm just going to skip that for now. Dev hours would be probably zero because they've done that at the uh, prototyping stage. Design hours, let's say 12, okay? Um, and then we need to take that prototype and we need to turn it into markup. So I'll call this task markup. And the designer is probably not gonna be involved, you know, let's say maybe one hour involved, involvement, but the developer is going to be involved a lot and this is probably gonna take them I don't know, let's say seven hours. Okay. Um, also, let's say in design, let's jump back in here and let's say we have to we have to throw in you know, like a hundred dollars for uh, font licensing. Okay, and then let's do one more thing. Let's say uh, other development. And we'll add this record. And let's say that the developer needs to do, uh, you know, add some functionality, say five hours, and um, we'll throw the designer in there. And uh, that's it. All right, so now we have all of the tasks for that particular feature. Um, and what do we do with that? Okay, we've got all of the math, of course, over here, but what we need is we want it to have a summary here. Okay, so what we do is we use a field called a roll-up field. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say design cost and I'm gonna choose roll-up and it's gonna drive subtasks and I'm gonna choose design cost. And then it's gonna ask for an aggregation function. For this one, we're gonna use sum and then we're gonna go into formatting and we're gonna choose currency. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna jump up and grab all of the associated costs for this uh, that are design cost in all the subtasks and it's going to count them all up. So let's do the same thing with dev costs. Jump down into roll up. Let's say dev costs. Again, we wanna use the sum function. There's all kinds of functions you could use but this is what we need for this Oh, we want currency, save. Let's add other cost. same thing. We're gonna go to our roll up field, other cost, sum, formatting, currency, save. Now we have all of our costs here, but we really wanna have one number that ties it all together. So what we can do is we can click this plus button and we can say um, total cost and let's go to a formula for this one because we just need to access stuff that's here. And let's say we want sum and then we're gonna do parentheses because we're doing this and we'll say design cost, comma, dev cost, comma, other cost. Save. Oh, let's go back into here and change the formatting to currency. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring this all the way over here and I'm gonna drag this over so that people always see the total cost and then we can go and jump and grab all the other stuff over here as well. Now, what I like to do is I actually like to include a link to this with an explanation that this is a breakdown of our cost 
And the way that I do that is I click on the share button and I click this uh, create a shared link to the whole base, a private read-only link, and I just copy and paste this uh, link here into the um, into the proposal that I send a client. So that's a that's just a really simple uh, Airtable use here. Uh, this is how we do it. I actually use this exact process every time that we make a proposal for the client. I go through and I add all of this stuff. Uh, there's a lot of different things, a lot of little tricks that I showed you there. And uh, hopefully this is something that you can take some of these things and use yourself uh, as you use Airtable.